Oh, hey, this is tip number 11 of our best 25 tips for managing and marketing a law firm. This is a really important one. Knowing your numbers, knowing the numbers that run your firm. I'm going to give you three different categories. Number one, marketing. Number two, case management. Bless you, Patch. Number three, financial numbers. So let's dive into each category because this is really important. Whenever I ask attorneys about their law firm, tell me about your firm. And they have very vague answers about their numbers. Like, well, we have, you know, 2,000 cases or something like that. It's like, no, that's not a good answer. We want to know exactly what the answer is. And, and that law firm owner should have these numbers at their fingertips. Really important. And if they don't have the numbers at their fingertips, then it's a good uh, clue to me that that law firm owner has not mastered their numbers. So let's start with marketing. What are the numbers that are most important to your firm? Don't have a bunch of numbers. It's better to have three to five numbers that you can pull up and know in your mind. For our law firm, just by way of example, the number of referral partners. A referral partner is a lawyer or someone in the legal field like a paralegal or judge who has referred at least one case to our firm in the last five years. That is what we define as a referral partner. It is our most important metric for running a law firm because the referral partners are how we get cases, the highest and best value cases of our firm. So we have 564 referral partners. Now, anyone could ask me that on a moment's notice, I would know that number because it's really important. What other numbers are really important to your business for marketing? So for example, our firm, we put a real emphasis on Google reviews for our law firm. We now have 562, which is the second most in New York State of any law firm in New York State. The most is 599 by Harding and Mazzotti in Albany, New York. Now, how do I know these numbers? Because we track them. And our goal is to have more Google reviews than any law firm in the state of New York. So they've got 599, we're at 562. We are 37 reviews away. So we're gonna consistently ask for at least one review every day. And over time, I can, get, I can bet you that we will be number one in New York state for Google reviews. What else in terms of marketing? The number of leads per month. So you should have that at your fingertips. How many leads did you get this month? And so we use a software called Lead Docket where it tracks the number of leads per month. The other thing that we track is the number of website visitors to our website, protectingpatientrights.com. I wanna know month to month and year to year, how are we doing? Is the content that we're uh, putting, adding to the website, are the number of unique website visitors increasing, staying the same or getting worse? So those are basically the numbers that really matter uh, mostly to us. Now, the second category is case management. Case management, what numbers do we want to know? We want to know how many active lawsuits do we have right now? And right now we have, I think the number is 34. And then in addition to that, how many potential cases are under consideration for our law firm? We want to know that number. And probably most important, we want to know how many confirmed trial dates do we have in the next 12 months? Because a trial date is how we project revenue. So if we've got a good number, uh, let's say we've got 11 trial dates booked for the next 12 months, that's a sign that we're going to have a good year because we're going to have income coming in. But if we only have four, then we need to get busy booking more trial dates. That's really the most important number that we have for case management. Now let's go to the final category, financial. Now, before we do that, case management. Our firm has an accountability meeting once every two weeks. At the accountability meeting, we have one person, our accountability manager, who basically oversees the, she doesn't do any legal work, but she oversees every active lawsuit in our firm. And every two weeks we meet via Zoom with our accountability manager. And basically we go through what was done and what wasn't done. And everybody basically gets, and ideally none of it falls on me, sort of a list of 10 things that they need to do in the next two weeks. Those are the rocks that we use. And a rock means a number that, that defines basically whether a person is doing what they're supposed to do. So you might have, let's say eight rocks for the next two weeks. 
And then at the next accountability meeting, we're gonna ask them, did you do your rocks? Did you report that you completed your rocks for the last two weeks? So that's a good way of holding everyone accountable for the things that actually matter. Now let's talk about financial numbers. What is the most important financial number that you'd have? Revenue year to date. How much money has your firm brought in and, and you know, over the from, from January 1st until now, that's a really important number to know. What is also, what is the projected revenue for your law firm over the next 12 months? We project revenue based upon confirmed trial dates. So if we've got confirmed trial dates, we have an estimated settlement value for every case. We project the legal fee based upon the estimated settlement value. And based upon those numbers, we can project what is the income to our law firm that's projected for the next 12 months? That's a really important number to know because the past revenue is important, but more important is the revenue that you're projecting over the next 12 months. So these are numbers that are really important. One little bonus tip is you do a year to year comparison of all of these numbers in marketing, case management, and financial. You project what you're doing this year, but also you'd have the numbers for the previous year. So you know year, year to year how you're doing. Have you made improvements? Are you getting worse? Is your website getting more website visitors or is it the same? Do you, how many more referral partners do you have? And hopefully every you're going to see progress year to year. So that's a really good gauge. Financially, is your revenue better th at this time last year than it is today? Important stuff to know. So it's really important that you know your numbers. When you go to a mastermind meeting, I'm really trying to get a sense at a mastermind meeting, how of much of a knowledge or a command does the person have of their law firm's numbers? Now, do they have to say at a meeting, what is your revenue year today? And say, oh, I'm not really sure it's about this. I'll get back to you. I'll check with my bookkeeper. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a command of their numbers, not down to the penny or even the dollar, but like, you know, something pretty precise. And so that, that is knowing your numbers is one of the most important things that you can do as a law firm owner. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This actual channel is gonna have 25 of our best tips for managing and marketing a law firm. Please subscribe, like it, comment, I'll respond, and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.